Hey everybody, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to another update for my horror CD soundtrack collection. Uh, again, I always like collecting the horror soundtracks, and um, I try to wait for I get a good pile going to do an update for my soundtracks. And uh, so far, I think I found some good ones for you to show off. Uh, so without further ado, I found the uh, Demons original soundtrack. Um, this one is, I think this is the two disc, yep, two disc CD soundtrack of Demons, fantastic. And there's all your scores, and then there's your uh, remixes on the other side. So I thought that was pretty badass. It's an awesome CD soundtrack. I just got released not that long ago, so definitely look for it. And add it to your collection for sure. Because <laughs> we have the, the demons. Uh, next up we have is the War of the Worlds. Uh, this is actually the uh, musical version of this. There's, it, It's very hard to read with the red here. I don't know why they did that in red. But this is a two disc edition. War of the Worlds disc one and disc two. And these, I like these hard cases. So there's your disc two, and there's your disc one with the artwork. And I think it's got some of the radio on there as well. But I, th I saw this for a really cheap price, so of course I had to scoop it up. I like War of the Worlds. I like that old school cover right there. So in that's cool thick CD case. <laughs> so yeah, War of the Worlds. Uh, next up we have is the uh, uh, Boy Harsher soundtrack to The Runner. I'm hoping for this movie to come out on Blu-ray at some time soon. Uh, if you're familiar with Boy Harsher, um, I like, I definitely like the music that they do. And they did their own horror film. Was, uh, I think it was on Shudder. It was like a short movie, but it was well done. Uh, I have a lot of their albums for Boy Harsher, and I had to grab this one. So put them in the horror CD soundtrack collection. So yeah, definitely if you've never heard of Boy Harsher, highly recommend checking them out. Uh, next up is we have the Masters of Horror. This is the uh, Big Thick Edition. And what I mean by that is the way you open it up. Let's see here. I'm trying to do this on one. Uh, yeah, folds up. Folds, <laughs> folds inside this cross for a soundtrack. Is that cool? It's a two disc Masters of Horror. I know it's definitely from like season one and two. <clears throat> there are two different albums you can get, but for this one, I just have this version. So it folds, folds. Oops, I'll go fold this way. So yeah, for the music on here, you got a lot of the. Kind of that really heavy stuff on here, if you're not into that. So here are your bands. You can pause it right here to see what's on this particular album. And there's a ton of them on here. <laughs> so I always like the Masters of Horror. I wish it continued on, but we got the, definitely the two seasons. And technically the third season, which is Fear Itself, which was done well. I know there's another soundtrack out there I got a snag. But I had to grab this Masters of Horror. Now, I love trying to find the weird shit out in the, in the wild, and I definitely found a weird one. So we have uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is actually the TV, like the TV show. But with this particular album, it's the, el the, the episode that was a musical. <laughs> yes, this is actually the musical episode that they put out. And uh, this one's called what's, uh, Once More with Feeling. It's got the original cast, what they sing and everything. And it's very odd that they put this out. And here's the insert, the little script book. And here's your tracks here. Again, so if you're a big Buffy fan, definitely look for this. I, I never even knew this existed, so I thought this was pretty cool. I found like dirt cheap, I got a sound garden. So yeah. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, one more feeling music album. So what? 
Uh, next up we have is uh, Hideaway. This is uh, I'm trying to remember. I think this is the one with um, is this one with Goldblum? Yeah, Jeff Goldblum. This is a really cool mo uh, movie. Pretty much with the uh, he senses a serial killer. He can see uh, him, and he can see him as w and the other serial killer can see him as well. Uh, who was the killer? He was in May. He was in. Uh, like wrong turn he was in uh, he was one of the, the detectives in Law and Order Damn, it's gonna drive me nuts oh come to me Jeremy Sisto there it is so I knew it's gonna come to me he was the, the psychopath in this movie so you got here's your bands so it's pretty cool I think it was like a late 90s movie definitely recommend it so Hideaway you know there's a soundtrack I can't believe I found that uh, next up is uh, the Omen soundtrack. This is from the original picture, all the, the score and everything. I thought this was a cool find, so of course I had to snag this, of course. Had to have the Omen. Uh, next up is we have the Blue Oyster Cult Bad Channels. I had this on vinyl. And uh, I think it was Full Moon had a huge sale several months back. And this was like cheap to pick up. So I figured, I'm grabbing that too. So if you're a big Blue Oyster Cult fan, you got that on here. And of course, Bad Channels in itself is a fun movie. So yeah, had to scoop up this on, sound, on a CD too. So uh, Next up is uh, The Retaliators. Now this movie's not even, I don't think it's even out yet. And I usually don't buy the soundtrack unless I've seen the movie. But I was, sorry for the glare, I was reading the back of it it had some pretty cool bands on here. Like I said, you got Papa Roach, The Who, uh, Tommy Lee's on here, Five Finger Death Punch, eh, not a big fan of them, but there's a lot of other ones on here. So I can't wait to check out what this when this movie comes out. Right now, I think it's on just uh, streaming. Don't know if it's on physical yet, so I definitely want to check it out. But The Retaliators look pretty, this album was pretty cheap. So there's your, oh, it's upside down, CD right there, it's the info, I think there's a book in there too, which, there we go, here's your book inside, I think it's just, yeah, the stuff on the bands, so yeah, the retaliators. Uh, the last two I actually got from uh, Indiegogo's. Uh, the first one is the soundtrack to They See You. I did a review on this movie on my 31 Days of Horror. It's a fun little uh, Halloween film. This is the score done by Rocky Gray, who has done like songs, uh, scores for like The Barn, uh, 1031s, which were awesome. I've done a lot of other ones, so I thought this was pretty cool. So They See You. And speaking of that, with Rocky Gray, I got the 1031 Part 3 uh, soundtrack, and it's signed by him as well. This is the the score from it. This was through the Indiegogo campaign. I know I had the soundtrack to the first movie, so I've, there is no soundtrack to the second one, to my knowledge. But they had the third one out in the Indiegogo, so I scooped that up as well. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, if you have not seen 1031 Part 3 pretty good there's like one or two that are kind of eh but the rest of the movie i thought was pretty solid i love that insert so yeah that is it for my cd soundtrack update guys uh let me know in the comments down below your thoughts if you've listened to some of these if there's some soundtracks i should try to track down um definitely check out my previous two soundtrack uh updates so of course Gotta go for the horror ones. I love it. So yeah, thanks very much for guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts. All right. While my kitty sleeps over here, it's time to pop in a movie. Later. Peace.